So now that the process has played out from the grassroots bottom up, we are here today to throw our support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. I'm clapping. You don't have to. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper. Uber driver's here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Please and thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, it's okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, okay, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man. In the black community, there's one way to have a humiliation ritual, especially if like you're in the industry, you make the people wear a dress, right? And a lot of hip-hop stars and comedians and actors, the real man's man, don't wear a dress, right? Now, on the political side, the pundits, if you want to emasculate a man, you make him cry. CNN has nothing but black male criers here. We have Don Lemon. And we intervene when you start killing us like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we intervene out of love, brother. Out of um, deep love. Oh. Um, for my name. Let me ask you this. Because everybody I saw, everyone I saw, on that video. We have Van Jones. <clears throat> it's, um... Well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier to, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Tell them the truth matters. Being a good person matters. And it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim in this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. If you're an immigrant, you don't have to worry if the president's going to be happier to have babies snatched away or send, send dreamers back for no reason. <laughs> it's a vindication for a lot of people. And now we have... Bakari Sellers. What the f is going on over there? I'm not sure people understand the pain or the suffering that goes along with being a black man in this country. I'm not sure people understand what it means to stand strong in this country. I'm not sure people understand what it means to have your back against the wall. And so now it's my turn. And I really don't care what you all say about there's another black man crying or this or that at the third. Because every day I'm going to work damn hard to make sure that tomorrow's better than yesterday. Now you have Bakari Sellers out here crying on TV, talking about black men. You need to get behind Kamala Harris. Now, according to Judge Joe Brown, she went to HBCU. A lot of black men have gotten behind Kamala Harris. His husband has got a I'm scared to talk about Kamala Harris. I'm gonna let you have that one. <laughs> uh, she's a witch, and she is a corrupt witch. She's been corrupt her whole life, and she fucked her way to the top. Oh, Lord. They used to detail this witch in the L.A. Times with her sexual escapades. She mm. fucked him near everybody trying to get up. She used to be a frat hoe when she was at Howard, and she ain't black. You know, I ain't got to do with this, Miss Harris. <laughs> this is the wrong message I, I try to put out there. 
Nobody wants her. Have an open convention. If she's the best one in the open convention, fine. But you're just shoving her down these voters' throat. Nobody wants her. We have a clip here. The MSNBC try to do a little a little poll here, and let's see how it goes. How do you perceive Vice President Harris compared to President Biden in terms of competency and experience? I think she's worse. She doesn't even know what's going on at the border. Right. I'm, and that's what she was, she was supposed, supposed to be doing. Doing and in charge of. I mean, as a school teacher, if I did not do what I was supposed to be doing, you better believe my job would be in jeopardy. Well, it isn't. It not only was her job not in jeopardy, she was just handed a promotion. Is there anyone that Kamala Harris could appoint as her vice president that you would find reassuring? Would make you consider voting for her? No, no, no. 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 Never considered voting for her. No, no, no. no. I and would know RFK Jr. way before yeah, her. Yeah, Same. absolutely. Yeah. And she's not the first woman to run for the presidency, right. Hillary Clinton. I'm assuming no one voted for Hillary Clinton no, in no. 2016. So it's not necessarily going to sway you to vote for a woman no. in office. Uh, when do you think America will have a female president? When there's a competent one? Just, I, I don't get a good feel for her. I think she's an idiot. Right. Mary, why do you think that she's not that bright? Because she hasn't done anything in the, the time that she's had. We don't know anything about her as far as her three years so far in the White House. She's not real smart. That's my opinion. It could be wrong. If Vice President Kamala Harris wins the election, do you think that will be an honest result? No, no, no. <laughs> no. no one respects her. They keep trying to tell us about unity, that she's trying to bring unity. It's nothing but more infighting. It's nothing but more infighting. You got the Clintons fighting against the Obamas, fighting against Bidens. Poor guy, poor Biden. Now I kind of feel sorry for him. You know, what he's going through and his mental, the way they push him out, I kind of feel sorry for him. If they will do that to the one they love, Van Jones, if they'll do that to your homie, imagine what it would do to you. I have a clip here of Charleston White. Charleston White is one of my one of my go-to guys if I need some inspiration. And when I seen this clip, I'm like, golly, <laughs> he just read my mind. <laughs> man, man, they got me f***ed up. I wouldn't dare vote for no black now that man, now listen, I was raised by black women. I got a grandmother, I got black sisters, but I wouldn't dare put no black woman in no mother f position of the White House, the commander in chief of the military, a black woman. Not only that, a mixed black married to a white man. Her pH balance is way off with that white. Man, you can't make me believe. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hey, man, Kamala Harry got a white boy. Her pH balance is off and her mental instability got to be off. A hoe would have thrown off pH balance unless she's sneaking and f***ing a n***. Now, if she's sneaking and a n***, then we might can let her be vice president. But we, there's no way. America, I'd rather for black people to go back to slavery than let a black woman run this goddamn country. Don't do it. Jay, listen, man, I'm against anything with a black woman running. Sh Motherfucker, get your ass back in that bedroom and in the kitchen. But the white half, America, we can't do this here now. Hell no, hell no. I'd rather have another mother civil war before we let a run this mother. Got me fed up. Go back and get Barack, if anything. Find another mixed baby. But don't put no in there. Yeah, it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. And I'm glad it's all on your side. All this backfired on you guys. And I love it. If you had kept Bernie Sanders in, Bernie Sanders would have beat Donald Trump, in my opinion. 2016, <gasps> Bernie Sanders had more enthusiasm and more young voters. He could have beat Donald Trump in 2016. But no, you rigged the primaries to make Hillary go through, and she lost. 2020, same thing. Bernie Sanders had the momentum again. He could have beat uh, Donald Trump. And once again, 
you rig the system and you put old man Biden in. 2024, there was no primaries. JFK, Robert, Robert Kennedy Jr. wanted to primary Biden and he could have beat Biden, but you push him out. So he had to go third party. And even him going third party are still blocking and rigging the system. So yeah, the party of democracy is a party of hypocrites. And everybody's trying to see that now. Well, that's y'all mess. Guys, MAGA, Black MAGA, do not get complacent. Do not get your foot off these guys' necks. Come November, if you have early voting in your state, make sure you go and vote early and bring a friend. Okay? This election is too big to rig. Don't let them do this to you. Don't get complacent. Don't believe these polls. Always believe that you're five points behind. I don't care if they say Trump is 10 points up. Don't fall for it. Trump is always five points behind, okay? When it comes to the media, he's always five points behind. So you make sure you go in early, bring a friend, vote down the line. No more, you know, oh, this is my congressman. He's good. No, everybody, everybody down the line are. All right, we got to fix this. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get your ass off my lawn.